Hi, this is Guy. Let's say you know that you do have an infestation of subterranean termites. And maybe you've talked to a couple of pest controllers about it, and you have been offered two options. They could dig a trench around your entire home and treat it with a termiticide. Or, for a lot less money, they can simply install bait stations around your home. Well, those bait stations sound awfully tempting because they're a lot less money up front than trenching is. And the pest controller is assuring you that these bait stations are going to do a wonderful job. So are they really going to do a wonderful job or is it possible that you just may get what you pay for? Also, how much do these bait, these bait stations cost over a long period of time? And by the way, how do each of these methods work? Are they essentially the same thing or are they much different? You certainly do, do not want termites in your home. So, which one is better? If you have been asking yourself these questions, then please stay tuned. I am going to answer all of these questions for you so that you can make the best decision for you, your home, and your wallet. I would like to start by explaining how each of these systems works. Since trenching has been around for a really long time, let's start with that. The way trenching works is that the pest control company is going to dig a shallow trench around your entire home and they're going to pour in a liquid termiticide. Subterranean termite colonies are always in the ground and never in your home. So, most of the time, the colony is within a 300-foot radius of your home. In rare cases, it is possible for the colony to be partially under your house. However, that is an unusual situation. So let's save that conversation for another day. For today, Let's assume the colony is outside the footprint of your house, which again, is almost always the case. Since the colony is in the ground, the termites that are in your house must return to the colony fairly often to bring food back to the other termites that remain in the colony. And they also need to go back to obtain the moisture that they need to survive. Wait a minute, if the termites encounter a termiticide, won't they avoid it? No. If the pest control company has any clue about what they are doing, they will be using what we call a non-repellent pesticide. The most common one is called Termidor. If you dig a trench around your entire house and treat it with a non-repellent termiticide, the termites will be happy to pass right through it on their way to and from the colony because they are not going to know that this is a poison to them. Now the trench does not need to be very deep because the termites only travel a few inches below the surface of the ground. When they pass through the termiticide, they will bring it back with them to the, to the colony and share it with the other termites, including the queen. Over the course of several weeks, the entire colony is going to die. So, no colony, no termites, no infestation in your home. This process usually takes up to about 12 weeks to be fully effective. So give it a little bit of time. 
if the trenching was done properly, then this job should go on protecting your home for five to 10 years, with seven years being about the average. Baiting works a bit differently. Instead of digging a trench around your home, the pest controller is going to install bait stations around your home and intervals between 8 to 15 feet apart. The hope is that the termites are going to find the bait stations and take the bait back to the colony and share it with the other termites, thereby taking out the entire colony. That sounds pretty good. What's wrong with that? Well, the problem with this is that unlike the trench, which is a continuous barrier around your entire house, you are now betting the ranch, or your house in this case, that the termites are going to find the bait stations. Most of the time, they do, but not always. The termites do not always get the memo that they are supposed to go eat the bait. Of course, the closer together the bait stations are installed, the greater the likelihood that the termites are going to find them. So, while you can install the bait stations 15 feet apart, it makes a lot more sense to install them at 8 foot intervals. No matter how close you install them though, there's still a gap between the stations and it is still very possible the termites are going to go directly to your home and bypass the stations altogether. I don't like the sound of that. Are there any other problems we should know about? Well, yes there is. Another problem with bait stations is that they do not use a termiticide that will kill termites. That's right. Instead of using a termiticide that will kill the termites, they use what we call an insect growth regulator. Simply put, an insect growth regulator, or IGR, is a kind of pesticide that will prevent the termites from reproducing. The idea is that if the termites cannot reproduce, then the colony is going to die off. Well, that is true. The problem with this approach is that termite workers can live up to two years. So, even if there are no new workers, there are still plenty of existing workers that can and will go on eating your house for up to two years, and maybe even longer than that. So, if you have an existing infestation, I don't know that I would want to wait two years for the colony to die off, particularly if you, if you have an aggressive species like Formosan termites, that can do a lot of damage very quickly. Okay, is there anything else I should know about bait stations? Yes, there is. Even though using the bait stations is less expensive up front, you will need to go on paying the pest control company every year to monitor the stations. This may end up costing you more money over time than just doing the trenching. Also, keep in mind that you do not own these stations. You are just leasing them from the pest control company. If you do not renew the contract every year, they will remove the bait stations. Pest control companies charge anywhere from $150 to $300 a year to monitor the stations. Since they are well aware that the termites may miss the stations and go, and go directly to your house, this fee usually includes 
an annual inspection of your home. So now that you know the facts, which one should you choose? Well, we all know that if you have an active infestation in your home, it can take up to two years and maybe even longer for the bait stations to kill off the entire colony. But that same job will be accomplished with trenching in about 12 weeks and maybe even less. Therefore, if you have an active infestation, you may want to consider spending the extra money to do the trenching. However, if you were just interested in a prevention system, then baiting may be a good alternative. What if I don't have the money to hire a pest control company? Can I do any of these things myself? That's a great question. You know, somehow I knew you were going to ask great questions. The answer is, absolutely. You can do both of these things yourself. You can trench around your entire house for around $100 and about a day's work. In most cases, you do not even need to trench your house because about 95% of the time, you can just use termite granules. These granules are applied directly to the surface of the ground and watered in with a common garden hose. They cost about $50 to purchase, and it takes about an hour to do the job. In some states, licensed pest controllers are prohibited from using the granules. And even if they are not prohibited, they are probably never going to offer you this option. I honestly do not know why this is the case, because the granules are effective for 95% of the applications that I would run into, and almost 100% effective when they are being used by a professional. For example, I have never had them fail because I know how to use them. And I know what situations they work for and which ones they do not work for. The only reasons, the only reasons why the granules fail sometimes for do-it-yourselfers is because they use them incorrectly. Now, you can also install monitoring stations yourself as well. You can buy these commercially for around $15 a piece, and you can get enough of them to do an average size home for around $300. You can also make these stations yourself for under 50 cents a piece. And you can do the entire house for under $25. These things are so cheap to make that you can place them around your house at intervals of every 4 feet apart instead of every 8 to 15 feet apart so that there is almost no chance whatsoever that the termites are going to miss them. If you would like to do any of these treatments yourself, I have videos on how to do all of them. I will place links at the end of this video and in the description. Be well, my friends.